Simon was just saying that if, if you guys get stops, then you get a lot better looks from three-point range when you're, when you're in transition and the defense has it set. Is that a pretty big key going in the game for you? Yep, I agree with Draymond. Watching the, the film of game two, did you feel like you were moving like you normally do? Like, off the ball? Did it feel normal to you? Nope. But I'll be better tomorrow. I guarantee it. What do you notice how, what, how they approach the defensively in game two as opposed to game one? Just trying to take away open looks. But, um, got to hunt for those open looks. Not settle. And I'll do that tomorrow. Steve spoke about the uh, point of attack and stopping the, the ball immediately to, to get those defensive stops. So what, what's the key in, in doing that better? Uh, probably got to stand on in front of our man better. Uh, you want to take away their three, so it's tough, but you want to force them to drive and take a tough two. And that's easier said than done. <clears throat> Just stay in front of our man. It's that simple. But they're a very good team one-on-one, -on -one, so it's a very hard challenge. Why is it clear that you guys seem to bounce back not only a little bit, but a ton after you play a poor game than one previous game? I think we're just prideful and we're not satisfied in the last performance, so we want to redeem ourselves in our fans' eyes, in our eyes, in our coaching staff's eyes. So I think it's just a point of pride to be better than we were last time. Clay, it seems like home field advantage becomes even more important in the postseason. For you, like, is it strictly the crowd getting into it and, and jacking you up, or are there other things like the sight lines behind the basket and sleeping in your own bed and stuff like that? Is that play you? The crowd helps a lot. It helps a ton. And uh, just being at home, being able to do things outside of your house and just having fun off the court also helps. You say you need to hunt for shots. You feel you can't let the game come to you. You need to be more aggressive and force the issue. Not really force the issue, but just be, just be more aggressive. Whether I has to make a play for somebody else to get my own shot, just be more aggressive, be more of a threat, so just staying around. Draymond said you guys thrive when you are threatened, uh, but you've had your one bump now, and it's time to log in and deliver. Um, why do you guys perform so well when you're threatened, I guess? Uh, just cause I, I, I don't know, I just think when we have our backs against the wall, I think, I mean, I don't think they're against the wall right now, but when we're threatened, like you said, we just uh, play with great urgency and um, hustle while, you know, add, our, add in our shooting and our talent. But uh, it's a great combination right there. Have you felt like the team's been practicing with urgency the past couple days since you got back? Yeah, we're all very eager to get back on the court tomorrow and we all been going very hard in practice so we're, we're ready it's going to be a great game three. Did you feel threatened that you, knowing that you got to split and you took care of business and did what you wanted to do I mean it's strange that you feel threatened in that situation? I don't think so because it's better than being relaxed so it's good it's a good feeling for us and when we play with the edge and we, when we play on edge that's when we uh Usually, that's when the best comes out of us. When Katie well, you said before, like when you had like a rare off shooting night, that you, know, you have that short memory and that sort of thing. Specifically from game two, is that something you quickly yeah. forgot about, or you watched the film? How do you, how do you kind of process that? In the I still watch the film, see what I could have done better. Try to apply it tomorrow, but uh, I do have a short memory. It comes to shooting and. Whatever I've done in the past will not affect what I've done tomorrow, whether it's been a great game or a bad game. Have your three days off been good, or would you rather be playing tonight? Oh, I've been great. I'm having a great time. I'm excited for tomorrow, though. When KD isolates, does it make it a little bit harder to resist kind of staying in place so that he's got sidelines, or it, it, has that changed things? Yeah, it does, but we have to move off the ball because that's how you create mismatches and that's how you lose the defense. And uh, some we worked on, and I bet the ball move will be much better tomorrow. But they're, they're obviously a really good defensive team, but they're not the longest team. I mean, they've got some, but not an incredible number. Is there anything specifically that they do especially well that makes them a good defensive team? 
they're good at switching and uh, they're pretty good at guarding the ball. They got some good on ball defenders. And uh, they play like us as far as, you know, being able to switch one through five. So we got to, you know, attack those mismatches when we can. Kevin was amused and, and sort of didn't want to hear it yesterday when anybody even brought up Steph's shooting struggles, I guess, is what. Uh, does it just take one for him to be Steph again if, he, if he's a little bit off? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is he is he struggling? I mean, I, seven I, for nineteen not is not good, but it's not yeah. terrible. I'm not saying it. I'm saying yeah. what we asked him about yesterday. But uh, I mean, game four, yeah, he went eight for fifteen. That's pretty good. That's really good. And um, maybe from deep. Is what yeah. I'm oh. Getting at, so. I'm not worried. We have to do a better job of helping get open looks as a team. But uh, because once he makes a couple open looks, he can make every shot in the book. So I don't think anyone's worried. What's the best way to get him with more of those open legs? Screening, uh, fast breaks, definitely getting out transition, those two things. Numbers say the Rockets are one of the better teams in defending off-ball screens. Is that what you've seen from them? The Rockets defending off-ball screens, is it tough? They're pretty good at it, but I think it's more on us just to be more, uh, just be smarter and slip and just read the game better than we did game two. Do we get in game one, then we'll be good. <laughs> yeah.